Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in, and for today's episode, I'm going to be making you wonder, is he wearing pants? Also, we're going to be talking about the phone scope binocular harness. So the first thing I want to get out there is that this was sent to me uh, for review. I did not pay for this from, with my own money. Um, I will not let that affect my review, but just so you guys know. Alright, so the first question is, why did I want this, uh, this binocular harness? Um, I'm fairly new to hunting. Um, I got my first buck last year here in Utah, muzzleloader hunt. A little three point, nothing great, but decent for me. I was happy with it. Um, this is the setup I had, which was just uh, some Vortex Diamondback 10x42 binoculars. Um, decent set of binos. Got it on Black Friday, Cabela's, all that good stuff, right? Not the best, work, but it works. Um, and comes with this neck strap, which, if you're going to use it for a short period of time, is fine. It's not that big a deal. Um, however, I was going all day, for several days, um, scouting and you know trying to get my my deer um, and it started to kind of rub my neck raw a little bit kind of started irritating it so I wanted to see if there was a different solution uh, my friend told me about harnesses and uh, I thought I'd look into them saw that phone scope made some uh, decently you know reasonably priced ones um, and I've had phone scope stuff before worked pretty well I like the company so I wanted to give it a try so um, like I said, you have the regular straps here. Um, so I'm going to um, switch these out for the uh, binocular harness from PhoneScope and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so now that's off. Now, one problem that I'm gonna have to try and figure out is that this, the lens cover, um, for your eyepieces has a little loop right here I don't know how well you can see that right now um, but it's closed loop it's not an open loop um, and so now I'm going to lose that I think with these this harness um, because there's not a strap just going through that they can go that the loop can go around so let's we'll figure that out um, I'm sure there's something I can rig up to make it work but um, initial thought is that probably won't work. Um, first thing I want to point out is it does have, this is the back piece, this is the piece that goes on your back. Um, it looks like kind of like a hard plastic on this side, it's kind of kind of shiny. Um, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it's actually just kind of a, a stiff rubber, um, flexible plastic, whatever. I think it's some kind of thick rubber, but um, it does move freely so it'll be able to kind of contour with the straps around your back if needed. So, um, I'm put this on. This is probably going to look super awkward. Okay. So now we have these hooks right here. Okay. Now let's see how easy it is to put these on. Um, the loop pieces on the binoculars themselves are pretty thick. Um, not the good thick either. These loops right here, I'll try to get a close up um, B-roll for you guys, but there's a, the, the loops here that are actually like part of the binocular body. Um, they're a little thick, I'm not gonna work. So I'm guessing there's like some little zip ties and some little metal loops in there. Um, probably make work, but I don't want to because phone scope does also have these loops. Okay, to make this a little bit easier, these are five bucks, not that much. It was slightly difficult to get these loops through the eyelets, uh, loops, whatever you want to call them, on the body of the binoculars themselves, just because it's a little thin in there. Um, the eyelets themselves are really thick and sturdy, but 
just trying to get the material in there. It took a little bit of work, but um, basically just kind of pushed it in with a little, little flathead screwdriver. It was fine. So now you can see we have those loops on there. So now Now these are nice and close to my chest. You know, they don't really, I feel really dumb doing this. They don't really move a lot, right? Um, and they can slide, you can see, up, slides down, right? So it'll stay kind of here, nice, low and tight. If you need to get up and look, they move with you up and then down so really nice for the eyepiece covers that we talked about it looks like you probably just slip this right over the loop attachment here let's see how well that works it's a little little closer than I would like but it does flip out of the way so, um, have it on, everything's all sealed up, it's raining, it's dusty, whatever, you should be able to flip these down, pull this off, and look. So, um, I haven't used this for an extended period of time yet, but just initially, um, and I'll post an update to let you guys know, but I can, it seems like this would not cause as much irritation on the contact points than all of this weight just on my neck. This I can feel tension all right here, down here, across my back, um, just, but it feels evenly distributed. These binocular harnesses are not very expensive. I think they're 20 bucks for the harness itself. And then the loops, um, which are not required, it didn't look like, because they just come with these little um, rings, kind of like keychain rings, you know, um, and some zip ties. So I assume that's to connect it when you have binoculars that have a little bit thicker eyelets like this. Um, so you could use those if you didn't want to spend the extra five bucks, but I would say get, go for the extra five bucks. And then as we talked about, um, quick disconnect, quick connect. So you take these off, put different binoculars on, um, or if you have a different uh, binocular harness, one that you use for hunting and um, long range shooting, and then one just for casual, just plinking or something, um, you can switch it pretty easily if you want. So like I said, I haven't used this for an extended period of time yet. These are just kind of my initial thoughts. Um, I just want to kind of get it, try it out, see if I was even going to like wearing it at all. Um, and I think I will. Um, I'll have hopefully another hunting season come up here in September and uh, be able to give them a real long-term use test. Um, and I'll, I'll let you guys know how that goes, but uh, right now I'm, I'm liking this setup much better. And obviously there are better harness systems, better binocular systems out there that might be more comfortable, a little more convenient, a little more protective. Um, it's probably gonna cost twice as much, three times as much. This is 20 bucks. This is a huge improvement over the next strap. So if you're looking for something for your husband, your boyfriend, your friend, for who's a hunter or shooter, um, something inexpensive for maybe the birthday or something, this would be a fairly good option. Um, I would just highly recommend getting the loops too. So um, anyway, I think that's it for today. Um, I will have more videos coming out. We're gonna do some giveaways. I have a couple of uh, phone scope um, scope covers, like the little like neoprene sleeves that go over your scope. Probably giving some of those away because to be honest I don't have any scopes that it works with. I either have scopes that are too big or too small. So um, give some of those away to you guys and uh, you know do that here in the near future. So if you guys have any questions please let me know. Um, if you have any feedback on the channel, uh, anything like that, I'd be happy to hear it. If you guys found this video helpful, check out the links down in the description below. Those do help support the channel, helps you get to the right product that I'm talking about. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see future videos. 
So thanks for watching. Take care. Thank you.